So I wanted to come and tell you about an idea that actually came to me a few years ago, and I spent the last four years trying to earn a degree to learn how I can make it happen. And we've learned a little bit about um, poetry tonight, and we've learned a little bit about beer tonight, so I think we're finally ready for the sex. <laughs> so when a condom is properly used, it's about 98% effective in preventing pregnancy and STDs. Unfortunately, it only works when you actually use it. People need to consistently make the choice to use a condom or other birth control every single time, even when they're inebriated, and even when they're forced. So what I would like to do is use the tools provided by synthetic biology to design a protective barrier that only needs one application and absolutely no maintenance until the woman is ready to have children and then she can choose to deactivate it or remove it. So my idea is to engineer a microbe that will produce chemotaxins that will actually draw the sperm to the microbe and a membrane protein will cleave the tail off of the sperm so it cannot swim to the egg. Now this is something that can become a part of the natural flora in a woman and it will constantly protect her until she's ready to get rid of it. Um, when she is ready to get rid of it, she can easily just trigger some kill switches that will either deactivate it or completely remove it using inexpensive and commonly found uh, substances so that we don't need to go to a doctor. I'm thinking vinegar, but you know, whatever works, works. Additionally, I think that we can engineer these microbes to produce uh, a set of aptamers that can target and bind to different common STDs. When these aptamers bind, they can release a molecule that uh, is colored to let us know immediately when we've been exposed to an STD. Early detection means early prevention and uh, it'll slow the spread of STDs. I also think that in the near future, we'll be able to use the ultramune strategy of combining an aptamer that can target a new pathogen to an immune molecule that your body already knows and is very familiar with. This will allow an immediate immune, immune response to the pathogen. So we do not have to wait for our bodies to spend two or three weeks upping their, um, ramping up the defenses to the new pathogen. This is not my idea, this is actually somebody else's, and if you ever wanna look it up, it's called Ultramune. <laughs> so this system is inherently <coughs> modular. Uh, once the base system is, is created, all we have to do to target new pathogens or resistant strains, is to change out the aptamer portion. Now, right now, it takes about a month to create a new aptamer using traditional CellX methods, and about two to three days to do it using microfluidic chips. And this is just going to speed up as technology speeds up, so I think that it's actually a viable way of staying in line with the defenses created by microbes. I believe that my idea can help prevent the spread of STDs and reduce unwanted pregnancies. I think that it can change the default setting in our body from being vulnerable to being protected. And it makes it so that instead of having to choose not to get pregnant and choose not to get an STD, we have to make the choice to get pregnant and we're always protected against different STDs. Thank you very much. <laughs>